I guess, the appropriateness of aggressive resuscitative efforts like CPR. Um, they, they, uh, a lot of times it, it comes down to where we are in our lifespan as well. So, um, you know, if, if, a, if a 45 year old gentleman is receiving CPR uh, as a result of a cardiac, resist, a, a cardiac arrest that has come from, um, you know, a, a traumatic injury or something like that. Um, you know, the CPR very much can be, you know, just a very important thing for him and, and for his family. Uh, in a situation where a patient may be, um, you know, uh, in, in their 90s and, and um, you know, just very frail, um, you know, uh, and basically, you know, succumbing to a, a, pro a progressive illness, you know, something like that, then there are, there are medical uh, risks to, to uh, you know, doing really aggressive chest compressions with CPR that cause, uh, you know, broken ribs and, and really um, would take already a difficult prognosis and make it much worse as a result of the physical injury that's sustained with that. So when you think about, you know, whether someone would like to, to receive CPR, um, it, it's, it's not as easy as saying yes or no. Um, th there are considerations, you know, uh, about how, you know, wh how old we are, what, what, you know, what it is that we're, what are our com comorbidities, what, what different illnesses are we facing, and ultimately what is the, the chance of sustaining essentially more injury from being resuscitated than, than if we had not received that. Mm -hmm.